What is up everyone? My name is Alex and this is my photo journal project for the cross-cultural class in Brigham's 2018. So let's just go ahead and get right into it here. So this is the first topic I wanted to go ahead and go over. Um, tourism, I feel, is the realm that we kind of were in most of our trip. Um, as we were here to really also observe the culture, um, I think we also did a lot of um, things in the tourist spectrum. Um, you know, um, for example, um, in this picture I used, um, I took this while I was in Venice, and it's mini gondolas coming down the same channel. And it was like four or five gondolas, kind of just stacked. And when I pictured going to Venice one of the main things I wanted to do when I went to Venice was go on a gondola. And I think a lot of people have that same, same objective. And I realized while I was there that they are only geared toward taking mostly tourists. You don't see locals going on gondolas. It's just not something you see. It's not, you know, but it is part of the, like the Venetian culture to go on a gondola per se, in as a tourist at least. <laughs> so in this slide, I kind of wanted to talk about the Austrian punctuality. Um, I didn't realize how much of a thing it was until I became so reliant on the public transportation system here. Um, we all kind of have a sense of it since we all have taken like the trains um, to our, you know, our travel locations and stuff. But as I had to take buses to get from my host home to the school, I realized that the buses 98% of the time, I would say, were on schedule. Um, if I didn't get to class on time, it was because I missed the bus or I just lacked the knowledge of when the bus arrived and left. So I definitely think Austrian punctuality is something that is important to this culture for sure. So here I wanted to talk about implicit bias a little bit with myself. I first want to say that this is a picture of me obviously at the Hofbrauhaus in, in Munich. Um, when I first thought about going to Munich, the first thing I pictured was me going to the Hofbrauhaus and getting my liter of beer, sitting down with good food and listening to music and the waiters and waitresses all dressed up in their German attire, I guess would be the word for that. And as I was sitting there, I realized that it didn't live up to the expectation that I had built in my head. And I kept thinking to myself, wow, I had this bias towards Munich in general, um, and the people of Munich, because I always thought, oh man, Oktoberfest, um, people drink a lot of beer here, and they're just really party-centered, um, and that's just how I thought, and didn't really live up to the picture that I had in my head, and that was probably because of the massive amount of bias that I had from uh, pretty much me like media sources for the most part. So in this one... I wanted to go over Hofstede's sixth dimension of indulgence versus restraint. In the U.S., we have a very indulgent culture, and over here in Europe, it's kind of the same. I mean, in different ways, but it's definitely an indulgent culture as well. So in this picture um, taken in Milan, um, there was this little bar that had a happy hour, and the happy hour allowed us to get a drink and a buffet of unlimited food for 10 euros. 
That is my exact definition of indulging myself. As much food as I can eat and a nice alcoholic beverage to go along with it. And I just thought it was really relevant to kind of like the social dynamic of um, indulgence. So in this slide, my final slide here, I'm going to talk about the etic perspective. Um, you know, a lot of the time that we spent here, besides just being tourists, we also observed a lot from the outside. And one of the things I was really happy I got to observe was kind of a surprise, actually. So this was this photo was taken in a cathedral in Vienna. And when I walked in, I didn't realize that there was a mass going on. So as someone who is not a Catholic, um, this is the first time I'd ever been in a cathedral while a mass was going on. So I found it very interesting to be able to like watch a little bit of the mass. I didn't really understand what was going on, but I know it's important to European culture. So I thought it was very important to sit and watch and kind of like see how people were reacting and um, taking it all in during mass. So I really got, I really enjoyed being able to take a step back and observe. And I thought it was very relevant to the cultural dynamic. All right, so uh, this is the end of my video. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, I really hope everybody enjoyed this trip as much as I did. Um, it's been realistic. It's been awesome. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching. All right, bye.